Hi, and welcome to Furnace TV with me, David Thomas. If you're into railgunning, you would have heard of Rowan Engineering. Rowan Engineering are a company that make custom parts for air rifles. They have an online service, which I purchased a butt pad for my Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine. I believe they also do a butt pad for the HW100. They do one for the Daystate Mark IV, the Huntsman, the Air Ranger and the Air Wolf. And also they do one for the Walther LVG. I'm going to show you the footage how I fix this butt pack to my Air Arms TX200. First, I need to take the uh, original butt pad off. Which can be done by a Phillips screwdriver. And now what Rowan engine, Engineering uh, require is the measurements, the depth and the width. So I'm going to check the uh, width which is 41.92 and then I'll check the length which is 119.23 okay guys so here's my uh, Rowan Engineering butt plate and uh, these are all the parts which you get these are the tools which you are going to need which is a slotted screwdriver a 10 mil wood bit a uh, 3 stroke 4 mil wood bit and a 4 mil allen key. Uh, Rowan Engineering send you a, a detailed uh, fitting instructions with pictures which are very helpful. So with a, a list of all the uh, component parts as well. So what we've got, we've got the Allen bolts there which go into the butt pad. We've got the bar which adjusts the wheel for this to slide up and down. We've got some wood screws. We've also got some washers. And this cheese nut, so it's called, goes on the underside of this to tighten on to there. So uh, I'll just uh, quickly put it together so you can see how it actually works. So this is the idea as it comes up. I believe it comes down about 40 mil. I may uh, stand corrected. But as you can see, that's how it works. And the screws go in there to take it into the stock. And then once you uh, fit this plate to the stock, you then put the butt pad to this plate. Prior to doing that, you will have to drill a 10 mil hole for the cheese nut to sit in, which is this piece here. So it will go on and sit on like that. So it's recessed in the stock. And the 3 mil or 3.5, 4 mil drill bit is to drill the pilot, pilot hole first. So now I'm just going to take you through the process of how I've done this. 
So first of all, we need to fit the plate to the stock. The screws will go into the uh, original holes, what were there to start with. I'll just zoom out a tad. So then, try and centralise the plate. I believe the reason for the washers are so you can have a little bit of movement in aligning it correctly. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Right, so once, once you've got it fixed to the stock and you're all happy that it... Once you've got it fixed to the stock and you're all happy that it's uh, nicely, nicely aligned Grab yourself a pencil and this central hole here, just mark there. The reason why you're marking the stock there is for you to uh, Drill a pilot hole through, and then you need to a 10 mil bit down to six mil. That's what that's how deep you need to go. So then that fits in nice and flush, like so. Okay, so let's start putting it together. So first of all, we start with the so-called cheese nut. So then that sits into the 10mm hole you drilled earlier. Then get your wood screws with your washers on. Okay, then if you need to align it, just loosen them off a bit until you're happy with it, and then retighten them. Now, the second part of the plate, I don't know, maybe it might be worth putting a slight bit of grease in these channels here for these lugs to uh, move a little bit smoother so hang on a sec that goes in there like so in the slots it fits and then you can just wind that with your fingers till it gets tight like it has oh sorry no right so 
in the side here you can just tighten it up via the pin that Rowan Engineering uh, supply by just uh, rotating it clockwise be a little bit fiddly but once you get the hang of it it's fine there you go so now take the old screws out of the old butt pad four mil allen nuts just push them in like so That's it, that's out now, see. And just line them up with the two holes. Do it, keep turning it till it's uh, nice and tight. You don't need to over tighten it. So then that's how you put the, the butt plate on with the pad. So now to adjust it with the small pin supplied, just loosen it and then adjust it to your own to your own requirements, probably around about there there you go that's how I fitted my Rowan Engineering adjustable butt pad I shall put a link in the description box for the website. Well, if you found this video of any use, then give Derek and Dave a ring down at Rowan Engineering, two top blokes that help you out with whichever uh, requirement you need. And I shall put all the details at the end of the clip. Thanks for watching.